Hi there, welcome to our A-Level Biology presentation. I'm Mr Parks, Head of Biology here at Fylan Gate. I'm going to talk you through the course in a little bit of detail and then we've got some students to tell you about their views of the course as well. Thank you. So welcome to A-Level Biology. I'm just going to run through a few details about the course for you and then you'll hear from some students about their views. In terms of the, the course structure, obviously it's a two-year course. Um, as all A-levels are now, internal assessment at the end of year one and your external exams will be at the end of year two. Three written exam papers and you'll also cover something called a practical endorsement over the two years which I'll come on to in a second. In, a little bit. in terms of what you're going to study, it's very much a wide-ranging biological sciences course so we cover everything from biological molecules, cells and cell structure, to whole organisms, how organisms function, anatomy, physiology, everything. Okay, genetics, how organisms behave, evolution, some ecology in there as well. In terms of the practical work, obviously with all science subjects, practical is a key key component of what we do and it's embedded throughout the course. The skills will be assessed regularly. Um, there are certain apparatus and techniques that you need to learn as you go through the course but there are also 12 required practicals. Now these practicals are ones that could be asked about in the exam. So they could be very specific, fairly detailed questions about those practical skills that you've done. Um, it will make up about 15% of the marks in your written papers overall and will be directly linked to practical skills. So there's no coursework, there's no practical exam, there's no other practical assessment, it's all assessed within your normal written papers. Alongside your written papers is something called a practical endorsement. Now this is simply a pass or fail. Just carrying on talking about those um, exam papers, three papers, essentially the main differences are paper one, which will cover the first four topics, which are your year one topics. Paper two will cover the year two topics and paper three covers the whole two years of the course. Okay. Paper three also has a 25 mark essay. Okay which is something that you might not expect from a science course to do essay writing. It is only 25 marks of one of the papers, so it's not a huge component of what we do, but it is something that, that we will have to practice and something that we work on as we go through the course. In terms of our results, okay, these are 2019. Obviously, um, the 2020 results were a little bit different. Um, so I've gone back one year to look at our results from external exams that were taken. 100% um, of our students passed. 39% of our students got A or A star, okay, which is really, really pleasing and quite high. And 65% of our students achieved a B grade or better. Okay, so two thirds of our students almost achieved a B grade or better. So we're really pleased with our results and what we do with our students. Uh, hi, my name's Alicia. Uh, I'm interested in pursuing medicine, and I heard that I'm from Kesgrove originally. But I heard that the science courses that finally go really good. No matter very much enjoying biology so far, with both practical and theory side of it. So. Hi, my name's Ben. I take um, biology for A level. It's um, really good. I really enjoyed it at GCSE, and it works really well with all the rest of my A levels. The practical is really good as well. Hi, my name is Will Chapman. I really enjoyed biology at GCSE and although I'm not going to go to it at past day level, I'm still picking up a lot of transferable skills in economics. Hi, my name is Bethan. I want to go into medicine for university and biology is a perfect course to prepare me for that. We do loads of practical and it's really interesting and a really fun course to do.